Hi guys and welcome back to Diecast Cars by JR. Uh, this is video number 11. Today is going to be featuring cartoon cars uh, from, from my past and probably a lot of yours too and some of the more recent stuff. Uh, it's a real mismatch of cartoon cars. Uh, got some by Fred Flintstone and Yogi Bear and, and a host of others. Now, yesterday's video, uh, I apologize. Uh, I did not, I neglected to put my Gmail address in that, and it was, if you didn't see it, it was, uh, it was number 10 video, and it was all about uh, cars from the old black and white TV shows, and uh, a couple of movie cars, and stuff like that, and uh, anyway, if you're, if you're interested, uh, possibly purchasing something from there, uh, there is my Gmail address. All right, guys. Uh, thank you. All right. the uh, Back to the cartoons. All right. Fred Flintstone. Who could forget him? I mean, it, fantastic. Fred, Barney, Wilma, Betty, uh, Pebbles, Bam Bam, and of course, Dino. Uh, and I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about these cartoon cars that I have. It's a mismatch group. Uh, uh, but I think you're going to find it interesting and if I don't crack myself up in the middle of all of it because it reminds me of a lot of silliness. Anyway, this is Fred's car right here. And if, uh, if by some chance you haven't <clears throat> seen the, uh, the, the Fred, uh, the Flintstone cartoon show, you are going to want to look it up. It is so genuinely silly uh, and just fun. It's family oriented. And uh, just just a good time to be had by all anybody any age group it doesn't really matter. Uh, and and Fred he's world famous for his yabba dabba do when five o'clock whistle would blow that was him. All right, okay. His uh, sidekick Barney uh, tried to keep Fred under under control from going completely over the edge. Fred was always getting into some sort of mischief of one thing or the other. Anyway, I was curious of uh, how Barney ended up with a a uh, sports car of sorts compared to Fred. Yeah, it looks like he's got a, uh, I don't know, a log, log rocket mobile. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting little car, to say the least. Yep. All right, moving right along here. And we've got Yogi Bear and Boo Boo, and of course, uh, Mr. Ranger. Uh, Yogi Bear, it was another great cartoon. Yogi Bear, world famous for stealing your picnic basket. You went uh, to Jellystone Park. Uh, you would run across, well, Boo Boo Bear, and he would, and Boo Boo was always saying, I'm going to go out and find me a biscuit, yeah, a, pisc a picnic basket, Boo Boo. There I go, cracking myself up. And, uh, and, uh, and little Boo Boo would say, well, Yogi, I don't think Mr. Ranger is going to like that. And, you know, if you guys are, Old timer like myself, you're gonna remember him saying, "But I'm smarter than the average bear, boo boo baby." All right, there you go. Interesting. Why they have a suburban? Who knows? But it's cool nonetheless. Penelope pit stop. This was another one. It's kind of uh, strange. I didn't really get into this, but my daughters kind of thought this was cool. So I thought I would pick up. Uh, you know, one of the cars from that little cartoon series. So I guess what I'm trying to say is the girls kind of like this one. And of course, every cartoon show has to have some kind of a little villain person. This guy is Dick Dastardly. Yeah. And he uh, was wreaking havoc for an LFP pit stop from what I remember hopefully I'm remembering right but it's kind of a strange little car kind of fun big dastardly what a name love it all right how about uh, Daffy Duck 
Stampy Duck. If you remember him, uh, he was just a wild and crazy, just with uh, a nut. Boy, he would go off off his uh, nut and just carry on like a like a crazy person. Is the only way to really say it. I had no idea why they decided to make a Dappy Duck car, but there it is, guys. It is really unusual. Kind of cool. All right. Oh, from uh, Scooby Doo. They've got their little speed buggy. Kind of a strange looking thing. But there it is. Kind of cool in its own, right? Got big fat tires. Scooby Doo car. All right, um, I'm gonna pass on that one for now. Spider-Man, hey. This is one of many of uh, Spider-Man cars from Marvel. Thought I would show this one because uh, I know I have others. Uh, but of course I don't have them in front of me at the moment. But if you're a collector out there of, of any of the cars you see in any of my videos, right now I've got, this is number 11. If you go back and you check over my videos and you see something of interest, you know, please contact me by all means. All right. Uh, this is a Supergirl, uh, a Supergirl truck, uh, which I have no idea why Supergirl would need, uh, from DC Comics, by the way. Supergirl would need a truck. But there it is nonetheless. Uh, what is this is a 38 Dodge Airflow. And by the way, Dodge had a car that was called an Airflow. Super dynamic job. This thing weighs a lot. It might be a candidate for a Hot Wheels race. But anyway, there's Supergirl right on the side of the car. And moving right along. This guy here is single-handedly responsible for me eating spinach as a kid. Probably many others out there. Popeye and olive oil. There was a lot of different characters in that show. I remember Wimpy saying, I will gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. This is a 1952 Chevrolet pickup truck. Super sweet. What that has to do with uh, Popeye, no idea. But he's strong to the finish because he eats his spinach. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Doot, doot. I know you remember that. All right. I found out a little bit of something about uh, this one here. Green Lantern. This is an interesting car, but I have to be honest, I really didn't remember Green Lantern that well. So I asked uh, my information center behind me here. And this guy had superpower. Of he could turn himself invisible, walk through a solid objects, and... Uh, I don't know what else you could possibly need to do. But uh, this guy, that's something else. And he probably could fly like Superman, I would imagine. But uh, interesting. If you guys know anything else about him of any real importance, you know, drop me a note. I'd, I'd love to hear from you guys. All right. How about Speed Racer? So, yeah, I was a big fan of the Speed Racer cartoon series. There you go. There's Speed Racer's, uh, I believe, his Mach 5. And I found out something else interesting today. Uh, well, this is a little something goes with this car. Oh, there's two red things on the top there. They actually clip onto the bottom of this car. You can pick which side you want to put them on. But anyway, those are saw blades stick out the side. If you're uh, familiar with this Speed Racer uh, cartoon series, those saw blades would stick out the side so he could uh, race up to his uh, enemies and 
saw a big hole down the side of their car, I suppose. All right. But Speed Racer actually had a brother. Uh, let's see if I can get his name here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, according to this, his name is Racer K. I, anyway, his car is very similar to uh, Speed Racer's Mach 5. And it is a cool looking little car. Kind of neat. All right. Uh, this is a villain here from the uh, Assassin from Speed Racer. The Assassin's car kind of resembles something from Batman a little bit. The Speed Racer was an extremely fast moving uh, cartoon show. If you haven't seen it, you might want to check it out. Speed Racer uh, had a, uh, a little uh, chimpanzee or monkey kind of a friend that uh, was always sneaking around and doing different things that you may remember. Uh, this car here from Speed Racer is billed as the fastest car on earth. Now you don't believe that? It says so right there on the back. It's the fastest car on earth. This is a really slick Pointed, uh, pointed car design. A little different for sure. All right. Speed Racer Series car. Uh, okay, something a little off, off the beaten path for me anyway. This is a car representing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. Appears to be a, oh yeah, Dodge, uh, a Dodge truck. What it looks like to me. Pretty interesting. Yu-Gi-Oh. A lot of the uh, anime fans will remember that one. Uh, Pez candies. Are those Pez dispensers. There you go. This is uh, a Pez truck. It's actually uh, a Volkswagen uh, pickup truck. Kind of cool looking. And it features a few of the Pez containers. I know there's a lot of Pez uh, collectors out there. But anyway, if you're interested in this uh, Pez truck from Johnny Lightning to go along with your Pez uh, dispenser collectors. Pez was a candy, by the way, that uh, was dispensed in a little push button thing. Came in all kinds of uh, different characters. And they're extremely collectible. If you happen to have one of those old uh, Pez uh, dispensers from yesteryear, you may want to look them up. They are ringing a pretty good dollar, some of them. Okay, uh, a couple of cars left here from the uh, Pixar Cars movie series. There you go. Radiator Springs. That's a cool looking car. You know, uh, cars from back in the days of Fins, I think this thing would have been a whale of a hit. They should have uh, put something out like that. I know a lot of the Cadillacs got really close back in the day, guys. Anyway, there you go. Uh, I got two more of them up here. I got Lightning McQueen. I have others of these that are not in the uh, package that I'll be showing along with uh, a kid's toy collection that I have. But believe me, I got a lot of kid's toy car collections. Uh, and I'll be bringing those out. But this is just a couple of them I have. Lightning McQueen. Uh, the Cars movies, if uh, you happen to miss out on those, or you have some young kids that are just, you know, getting to the age where they're getting into television, maybe like, you know, Cars a little bit. These, it's a it's a good it's a good series to watch the Cars movies. They're a lot of fun. Kids kids will love them. A lot of action going on. This guy here in the tow truck. This is a Mater, and he is kind of a one of the stars of the show. Besides the McQueen car, gets into a lot of stuff. Kind of a crazy looking truck. And great fun. 
Okay. All right, guys. Uh, I am going to, I believe, wrap this up for now. Yeah. Uh, what we got here? Oh, I almost forgot. This uh, is Huckleberry uh, Hound represented car. Boy, you really you can't hardly see that. Huckleberry Hound. Uh, he was a, a cartoon character back in the day. And uh, kind of a, a crazy little little show. Yeah, there might be a few of you that remember that. Uh, Huckleberry Hound. All right. As always, guys, I'm getting ready to wrap this up. Video getting kind of long. Uh, if you uh, are considering maybe purchasing or, or have a comment, uh, let me know. Just tell me anything you want to tell me, guys. I'm wide open as always. Uh, you can drop drop a note to uh, my email address you see there. I would appreciate it. All right, I'm going to sign off for now, and uh, I'll be back with something else real soon. Thank you, guys, all you subscribers and viewers out there. Uh, you guys are fantastic, and believe me, I appreciate you hanging on with me. Tell a friend if you would. All right, thank you, guys. Bye for now.